Good morning, Facebook fam, softball world. Bill Hoops here, Florida PGF State Director. I want to talk to you today about registering for our events. Man, I take a lot of phone calls every day on how to get sanctioned and how to get registered for our events, how to put in rosters and things like that. So I'm going to do a little screen share, take about five or ten minutes of your time uh, to run through it because once you are registered, sanctioned, and your roster is in, man, the system is actually pretty simple, but learning it can be kind of frustrating. So we're going to start this video today and talk about how to get sanctioned, how to get registered, uh, and how to add your roster for a Florida PGF event. So here we go. Go into the screen share. First thing you're going to do is go to the PGF national site, premiergirlsfastpitch.com, the PGF national site. First thing we're going to do is talk about sanctioning. Right. If you want to find a tournament, you go to tournaments and events, tournaments and showcases. Uh, you can click and filter by the state of Florida. Right there, filter. And this is going to bring up all of the Florida PGF events uh, that we have. And as you can see, our fall showcase uh, and tournament season is up. Our summer stuff is up uh, and our spring stuff has been completed. So there you go. Going back to the PGF national site now, we are going to talk about sanctioning. So I'm here. There's two things I have to do to sanction. I have to get a background check and I have to sanction my team. So I'm going to sign up and I'm going to register teams. Now, depending upon what kind of team you have and what your goals are for your team, you're either going to sign up as a premier platinum team or you're going to sign up as a regional team. Premier Platinum team would be if you're trying to play a PGF National Qualifier or if you're trying to go to California off of an invite uh, to play PGF Nationals. If you're playing in your local state, such as the state of Florida, you are a PGF Regional Team. So for this purpose, we're going to go to PGF Regional Teams. You are then going to go down, read all this important information, and click Register Now. Register now. I don't have a sanctioned team this year, so we're going to log in with my information and it's going to bring up the different regions. So you say, Bill, what region am I in? Well, you are in Florida. You are in the southeast region of the United States. If you were in Connecticut, you would be in the northeast region of the United States. So southeast region, we're going to say for these purposes, we have an 18U team. We're going to click on that. Continue to team registration and information. We're going to click on my name if I'm a member. If not, if you have no members, you'll add a member. I've been a member. You can click new member if you don't have one. So I'm going to continue registration under my name. I don't have a team this year, but let's just say I do. We'll go with last year's team name, Florida Impact Affronty Hoops. That team is out of the state of Florida. And then you'll put in all your personal information there, everything you need in order to be uh, legit. You'll read all of this information talking about waivers. You'll read that. You'll sign. You'll come to the bottom to photos. If you have a photo in here, you can see this handsome gentleman. Uh, his picture is there. If not, you'll choose file, put your picture in there, continue to waivers. Once you have all of your waivers signed, it's going to ask you to sign your waiver. This is for your background check. Make sure you read all that. You're going to put your social security number in there with your electronic signature. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop at this point uh, because I'm not doing this uh, for my team. But the next step would be review and pay. You would put your payment information and then you would get your receipt. Now, you've signed up. You're sanctioned. You're good to go. You'll get an email uh, a few hours to a few days after your background check is complete. And it will tell you to go ahead and register for events and add your roster. If you're going for a national roster, you will use the link included in the email and send it out. If you are playing regional events, we'll go over where your roster goes later. But now here you are. You're sanctioned. You're all good to go. Your background checked. Life is good. You're ready to sign up for events. So I'm going to go here to log in. Top right hand corner. Now, I don't have a sanctioned team, so I have a team that has allowed me to use their information, so we're going to log in here. If you've not had an account before, it will let you know uh, by telling you single server sign on error. But either way, we've sanctioned, we have an account, let's go ahead and log in here.
All right, you've put your password in there. You've put your email address in there. You're good to go. It brings up your member account. So you want to make sure you're sanctioned. Your sanction is good to go under my member account. This is where you'll see Frank Johnson, who's the coach here, Power Mill Johnson. Thank you, Frank, for letting us use your account as the example, right? Frank has registered Southeast as a coach. He's got his background check. He's good to go. He's sanctioned his team. Back to member account. Now, you want to register for tournaments. You're going to go to these two blocks down here. Sign up for tournaments and events. View your registered teams. I go here to sign up for tournaments and events. We're going to do that first. So I'm going to click on sign up for tournaments and events. At that point in time, the system is going to generate me over to Tournament Connect. It's now brought me to the registration site. I'm going to filter by the state that I'm playing in. I filter by the state of Florida, and now I want to register. So I can see that uh, Frank is going to uh, register for an event. So let's go ahead and just register Frank for states. So we click register off to the right. Now, what do I need to know about this event? Does it require hotel stay? Does it require this? Does it require that? I'm going to click view details. That's going to tell me everything I need to know about an event. The event website, where the park is, the website that here, the location to the park that we're playing at, the hotels that are maybe required, and an explanation for everything I need right there. Now, I've clicked register. I want to continue. Once I continue, it's going to take me over to Tournament Connect. At this point in time, it's going to generate my team in a perfect world. Again, no one said it was fast. So it generates my team. It's got Power Mill Johnson. And as you can see, he tells you he's already registered for this event. So we'll go back. We'll go to sign up for tournaments and events. And we'll show you one when he's not signed up for the event. We'll go to filter. Filter for the state of Florida. Let's just say coach wanted to play the Unity event. We'll continue. At this point in time, it does the same thing. It generates automatically. No more connect code needed. Uh, no more extra steps. It does it for you automatically. Now you can see it shows the event. He picks his age group. He's an 18U. He's going to go A. It then gives you an opportunity to pay now when you register or defer payment online. Once I click defer payment, it will then give me the opportunity uh, to, and we'll just go through it. Just, I'll just remove them from it. Deferred payment. By selecting deferred payment, you'll be registered for selected event, and you can submit registration. For our Florida PGF events, payment is due anywhere from a week to two weeks prior. Uh, but if you want to pay at that point in time, you can just click pay online by credit card. Once you submit registration, it will then give you a confirmation here and send you a confirmation email. That is how you register for events for Florida PGF. You say, okay, Bill, now I'm registered. I want to add my roster. I want to make sure my roster is clean. I want to add guest players. I want to take people away. Uh, I want to see what events I'm registered for. I want to do all this stuff. Well, that is done here at View Your Registered Teams. View Your Registered Teams. Now, when Frank's opens, you're going to see about five or six different teams in here or 12, right? It's typically the last one. Look over here for a balance. Uh, not 2020s, right? So he knows this is an old team. This is an old team. There's no balances here. He's got a 1675 balance. So we're going to click on this team, assuming this is the newly sanctioned team. These other teams uh, will be cleaned up by the system and fall off, uh, hopefully at the end of the sanction year. But either way, we've clicked that last team. In order to make sure we got the right team, we're going to go to events and registered. And we can see that Frank has registered for Summer States and the Battle of the Diamond. Currently waitlisted, but we'll be getting him cleared for those events. All right, so this is where I go to see where I'm registered. If I want to register within the system, same thing. Here's all the Florida, California, Georgia, all the events in the country that you can choose to register for. Uh, but for this exercise, we are going to go up top here to Roster. Roster. As you can see, Coach has put his roster in here. He's got his current roster. If they're not playing this weekend, I'm going to hit inactive. 
right? Inactive, inactive. So that lets me know as the tournament director, these three kids are not playing. We'll mark them back active. Good to go. If I want to add an athlete to my roster, I'm simply going to go here to add athlete, first name, last name, date of birth, grade they're in, gender, jersey number, position they play, uh, and then a contact information, whether that be the parent, the player, or the coach, whatever you're comfortable with, and then hit submit. That'll add them to your roster. Down here, you can see the email address. The email address that is marked as the primary contact in the system is the one that will get all of the communication. So if your head coach's email is here, uh, as Frank's is, Frank's going to get the information. If Frank wants his team mom to get the information because he doesn't want to have to worry about it, then this email marked primary needs to be the team mom's email address, okay? Uh, so that's it. Then you can see contacts, financials. Financials will tell you uh, what you owe, what you owe for which event, any of that stuff. Events, again, is what you're registered for. Any past events that you may have played. Uh, team is going to be your team contact information. Any social medias that you may want to handle, things like that. So that is uh, how you register for Florida PGF events in a nutshell how you get sanctioned, how you get registered. Uh, obviously, I went through that pretty quickly, uh, but you can start, stop, pause, rewind this video. Uh, my phone number is 704-807-5663. If you still have a hard time getting registered or sanctioned, uh, please just give me a call. I can be reached pretty much any time of the day. Uh, so we look forward to hosting you for Florida PGF events. We look forward to helping you get registered if you need it uh, and watching your athletes shine out on the field. I hope you have a great weekend wherever you're playing this weekend. I hope your summer uh, and rest of 22 is amazing. We appreciate you playing Florida PGF and we will see you out on the diamond.